do you have blood on your hands? You might say, no, I, I haven't murdered anybody. The Apostle John wrote in 1 John 3 verse 15 that any person who hates his brother is a murderer. If you gossip and slander and hurt your brother, you're a murderer and you have blood on your hands. Have you warned all your friends against the judgment of God over sinners, that the wages of sin is death, and that if they do not repent, they will end up in hell? Have you warned them? If not, you have blood on your hands. Dear friends, Jesus Christ came to take away the sins of this world. And only Jesus can take the blood off your hands of all the sins that you've committed and all the times that you've neglected to warn others who were on their way to damnation. Dear friend, I want to warn you today that if you do not repent of all sin, and live utterly holy, you will end up in hell. Adam only made one mistake. Only once was he rebellious against God. And that cost him his life. Dear friend, we have to be utterly holy. And totally stop sinning. Because without holiness, no man shall see God. God will not excuse one sin that we have not repented of. God knows everything that we've done wrong. It's written down in His book. And only Jesus can cleanse us of all unrighteousness. But if we keep on sinning, only one bad sin, you will end up in hell. Because one sin is disobedience. One sin that Adam did, one time that he was disobedient to God, brought death to Adam, took him away from the presence of God. My friend, I want to warn you today. One sin one willful sin can take you to hell. We've got to live utterly holy before Jesus. Dear friend, your blood is not on my hands. Because I have warned you, if you end up in hell, you will not be able to say that that guy did not warn you because I warned you. Do you have blood on your hands? Have you warned your neighbors that if they do not repent, they will end up in hell? Have you warned your children? Have you warned your parents? Have you warned everybody that you know that if they do not repent of sin and obey Jesus Christ, absolutely, they will end up in hell? Dear friend, I want to warn you today that we will all be judged by the words of Jesus. The words of Jesus are not optional. We will be judged by each and every word that Jesus said. Those words are written in the Gospels. Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. Those words will judge us. There will be no exception. If you do not comply with those words, the words will judge you and Jesus can do nothing for you. Because you have violated His words. Dear friend, your blood is off my hands now. May Jesus bless you.